Hey everyone, today I'm going to be testing out if you can train a ladybug to follow your pen when you draw on a paper. Then he's interested. Look at that. So I've seen two viral videos involving insects and drawing on paper. In one of them, it was a ladybug following this girl's pen as she wrote on paper. And to me, it seemed like the ladybug was maybe just trying to stay under the shadow of her hand. So I'm going to be testing out if the ladybug will first actually follow a line, and then I'm going to test out if the ladybug will actually avoid the lines and go a different direction if you draw in front of it. Okay, first let's try drawing with a marker on the paper and see if it avoids the lines. Okay, let's let her go. <laughs> he does notice it for sure. That's really weird. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Okay, now we're gonna try to see if it actually follows the pen. Interesting. Look at it, it's following the line. <laughs> so I think it's trying to get up the pen. Like, let's try it if I'm not even drawing anything. He's not interested unless it's making a mark. Yeah, really, so. But if I do the pen, then he's interested. Look at that. That is so weird. Okay, so it looks like the ladybug actually followed the pen, and it preferred the pen versus a utensil that wasn't writing. So it seems like it was actually the ink coming from the pen that it was attracted to. Now most likely the ladybug is following this pen ink because it resembles a pheromone released by ladybugs. So ladybugs and other insects release pheromones for different reasons. Sometimes they want you to follow a trail or want other insects to follow a trail. Sometimes they release pheromones for mating reasons. Ladybugs are actually very sensitive to some of their pheromones. They can detect them up to a fourth a mile away. So most likely there's probably something in the pen ink that resembles the chemical pheromone that it's used to sensing during mating. You can see that it almost aggressively comes up to the pen during it. It kind of reaches out to try to grab it almost like it's gonna climb up it. So I assumed it was just trying to climb up the pen. But when I used a non-writing utensil, it wasn't trying to climb up it like that. Now insects are used to communicating through chemicals like this. For example, that's the way that I was able to convince an ant in my ant colony that it was dead, just by putting oleic acid on it. But it definitely is plausible for insects to want to follow lines that you're drawing on paper. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.